Hi there. I am Sharon Tinberg, and I am producer of Core Training, which is a five-module set of DVDs that teach people how to enter a home when working for a cleaning service, how to clean the kitchen, the bathroom, how to long and short dust, and how to exit That's that. The one thing, I, the one piece I felt I was missing in the 20 years that I owned my cleaning service that cleaned 95 homes per day with 52 full-time cleaners and four relief people. So we were in a constant mode of training. And it would have been great if they could have just watched a video and my trainers could take it from there. I hear from many owners, if I could only clone myself. If you want to clone yourself, which you can do, you need people who want to be just like you. For them to want to be just like you, you probably shouldn't have them watch you cleaning because they are just like you already. If they want to be just like you, chances are they'll listen to you. And cleaners who feel you are a person of influence will listen to you the first time and they will use it a lifetime. And that's the problem with training processes. You've got to keep them in place. It is the same thing with retraining. But in this instance, you need to change your current employees' minds a little bit and understand what it is that they are thinking. And they are probably more fearing change than anything. And it is your job as an owner and a very easy job to simply replace that fear of change with the fun of education. Training can be so much fun if it is presented the right way which we are going to discuss in our training session. Learning all the training processes in the world don't do any good if you don't implement them and they don't stay in place. Friday night is hosted by your host in the city, which in Mesa, Arizona, is Eugenia Bring. She has been in business for a long time, has a great office, so you will have the opportunity to actually see an up-and-running business uh, operate. You will also, that evening, we will also cover the cleaning, cleaning scope and what it is that is expected by a client for a weekly and bi-weekly cleaning. And monthly, but mostly weekly and bi-weekly. We're going to talk about what it is we sell and we're going to define what it is that we sell so that we're sure that our scope of work is actually meeting what we're selling. And then we're going to talk about recruiting employees because that is the biggest issue today. And once we recruit those employees, how we can get them to want the job when we interview them. And finally, how we orientate them so that they feel safe on the job and come back the second day after they've been trained. On Saturday, we will meet at, the, at Eugenia's house and actually train you how to train someone to clean a home. We will actually clean a kitchen, a bathroom, and we'll do dusting in a couple of rooms, long and short dusting. When we are finished with that process, which takes about six hours, we will then conclude by talking about how we're going to keep this all Not in place. Not just the cleaning process, but the cleaners as well. What we don't want to do is get a cleaner totally trained, and two weeks later, we lose that cleaner, or even four months later. Once they know this process and they're doing a perfect job cleaning, we want to know what it is it'll take to keep them there. And believe me, money is a small fraction of what keeps your employees there. We're going to talk about what it takes to motivate a cleaner to stay with your company for a lifetime and love it. We're also going to talk about the structure of building a self-sustaining company. What different tier levels do you need? What different managers do you need? What you need to keep in place so you can enjoy your business from afar once in a while? If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 512-964-9750. Again, that's 512-964-9750. Or visit my website at www.successmadeeasy, spelled M-A-I-D, dot com. When you go there on the home page, you will see a banner that moves. Simply click on Cross Country Core Training, Mesa, Arizona, and it'll give you a full page rundown of everything 
thing that is involved in this day and a half. Again, I hope to meet you in Mesa, Arizona on May 5th and May 6th, Friday evening and Saturday, where we will train you how to train others to clean a home perfectly every single time without you ever having to clean a home again. We'll have fun, we'll learn a lot, and we'll meet other people that we will know for the rest of our lives. And I hope you turn every dream you have into a reality. So with CORE um, videos, they offer a worksheet for the trainee to watch while um, watching the video. Um, I find it very beneficial for the trainee to watch the video and to also follow along with the worksheet, which is a fill in number one. And then um, directly after, we always do the core questions. Um, It lets us know if they're paying attention. It lets us know if they're going to catch on quickly to our way of cleaning. Um, It's really a great tool. And then we do our in-house training. We get a new hire is really watch the core training. And, uh, you know, if they never been in a house cleaning company before, it can give them a pretty good idea what we are doing here. So if they have any illusion that this job is going to be easy, that core is going to really show them. So some people will quit before they finish watching the video. Some people will stay because they want to do that, and the, the core is the best thing for me because it gives them the real thing right there in their face, that this is what we are about, we are serious, we are professional, and we look professional when we have this kind of quality video to show to our new hire. All that we use, um, initially, we, we show our new employees the core videos. Um, it's just so professional that when you bring somebody in, and my favorite one to start is the before you pick up a rag because it shows all the basics, the very first things you need to know before you even start cleaning. It shows them greeting the customer, um, you know, how they should present themselves, entering, leaving homes. Very, it is priceless, but it's also, you save money. When you are not spending your time repeating yourself to a new hire that you don't even know if it's going to work out or not, you're just saving money. It's a money saver for my, uh, to incorporate that into my training procedure. It's cut our training time down in half, which ultimately saves money. Um, It's added to the professionalism of the company. It shows us as a more structured company. It tells them in the beginning, we do have rules, we have guidelines, and it lets them know this is a professional position. It's, you're not a cleaner. You are in a professional position. You are- I think the training programs, uh, it's so professionally done that, that we can take a new employee and sit them down and go through everything, and um, even some of our older employees who started doing the video I used training. to have to walk them through how to hold a rag in their hand. So those videos for me have been huge. I could not believe how the difference it made for them to be able to see it. Because I used to make them watch me, and then I would watch them, and then have to come back and around and do it. But this time, when they're having trouble with something, they come back and watch the video they're having trouble with. So I, the videos, again, they're just amazing. And then um, Kent, which is, like, I met her at a networking uh, meeting, and she has a business, and she was raving about your program. And so... Um, so I went online and looked for it, basically, and we found it. We were dealing with all these problems, and for us, getting it was a no-brainer. I mean, the minute we saw it, we, we got the whole program. And Well, it's actually funny. Carmine thought it was a no-brainer. He's like, no, if we're going to do it. And me, I was a little bit, what? Uh, I don't think so. We don't need that. I don't really want to do it. And then the second I watched it, the second he was talking about the – because somebody had suggested doing full-time employees, and I turned that down. I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay people to sit around. And all that. I was kind of hard around. You know, it was difficult for him to kind of get me there. And now I cannot believe that I even, oh, it's so much better the way that we have it set up now. And I absolutely love it. It's if a we, huge difference. If we would have uh, got this program when we first started out, I mean, our business would be in a totally different place than it is right now. I mean, I, I, it's hard to believe how many clients we've lost over the, I mean, we would just be, like, way bigger than we are right now. So, 